I love wrestling. But if you watch like outside the UFC, everything like judo, high level. Judo is high level. My opinion, judo is plus. You know, judo is plus. What's harder? Hi, this is Shadi and in this video I'm gonna be taking on Khabib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov and see what kind of judo moves he does in the octagon. For those of you who don't know, Khabib Nurmagomedov is a very much accomplished MMA fighter with a record of 28 and oh, he will no doubt go down in history as one of the greatest of all time. He is skilled in judo, wrestling and sambo and we're gonna see how he uses his judo in the octagon we all know that his foundation or his main go-to is wrestling in the octagon but when things fail in the big wrestling takedowns i've noticed that he would complement it or supplement it with judo subtle takedowns and in this video we're gonna be taking a look at the obvious and the very much subtle and discuss the etymology and the techniques behind his takedown system so we're gonna start with the very much obvious ones and that is the uranage uranage is a pretty much a stable in both judo and wrestling and it means the rear throw and in judo in the ijf the russians are very particularly skilled in the uranage as you can see here much strength leverage and brilliant technique overall uh, by khabib now uranage means backward throw it can be either uh, f the opponent facing you on the side it can be the uh, opponent facing you giving you their back and it can be the opponent giving you their front which makes it uh, in wrestling terms belly to belly suplex let's look at it from the judo uh, context here from a strike and the kata the opponent kind of gives his side or his ribs and you just throw backwards ura nage it can also be uh, used as a counter particularly the russians and the georgians in judo use it as a counter pretty much all the time with sheer strength and good technique they have mastered it and kind of made it their specialty uh ura nage as i've mentioned it can also be like a belly to belly suplex because you're still technically throwing backwards so it's a belly to belly side and also someone giving you their full back in case you are countering them so the first one is the obvious one and that is the suplex here let's look at it again kind of giving him his side similar to like the kata variation of uh the uranage the second one also and a very obvious one and that is the morotegari or the shooting on the legs whether it is single or double um, it is a staple in wrestling and in mma and also used to be legal back in the day in judo until up uh, 2013 if i'm not mistaken so here is a huge uh, morotegari morotegari translates to literally as reaping with both hands so it can be anything really it can be the double leg takedown it can be the single leg takedown and it can be that body lock where you lift and just throw to the ground not even grabbing the legs so moro tegari reaping with both hands here you can see in the judo context doing like a sleeve and lapel and then going down for both uh, legs here you can see it from a seoenage a flinch or faint and then twisting re repositioning and going for uh, the double leg takedown, the Morote uh, Gari. So, again, these are moves that were highly pronounced and very highly important in judo and wrestling. As he said, judo is class. Here you can see the rotation done to the other side after Seonage and done with finished with a double leg takedown. And also, a single leg takedown is also a Morote Gari. You're still reaping with both hands, but you just. Uh, went for one thigh and here you can see and continuing the rotation to avoid being taken down in someone's closed guard here let's see again very brilliant or very mastered double leg takedown the only uh, drawback to this is you can easily fall into someone's guard uh, in the case of tony ferguson it can be very dangerous and also you can get like ben Ak askren and knee to the face 
So the second is here. It's a very detailed takedown. There's a lot here going on that you might have missed. He go to he went for a Kochigari and went for a Kosotogake in the end. Here, the Kosotogake is hooking the leg from the outside and taking the opponent uh, backward. He he went initially for like a body lock and takedown, like a Morotegari, but when he couldn't, he just put his leg behind his opponent, clipped it, and went for the Kosoto Gake. Here you can see it's a clip like a, to the on the outside and taking your opponent backward. It can be done with much a lot of context, a lot of feints, uh, etc. You can do it like a hopping variation also. So he went for a Kochi but then went for a Kosoto Gake. Let's see it again. So here you can see he's trying to sweep the leg on the inside. He couldn't and then eventually put his leg on the outside and pushed his opponent backward for the Kosoto Gake. Now let's take a look at the Kochigari which he tried to go for first and that is a minor in a reap. Gari means reap and Gake means clipping. So Kosoto Gari is a minor in a reap as you can see here and Gake is when you hook the leg with your own leg and fall backwards so here you can see in a like a swaying motion to the side there's many variations to the kochi gari and we're gonna see an example of a successful kochi with Khabib later here you can see like you can clip that's a gake or a makikomi uh, there's many uh, words to it but basically gari is a reap gake is a clipping with your own leg you can see it becomes kind of like a different technique you can continue rolling in order to avoid falling into someone's closed guard and being caught and just get in trouble. Here, let's so now let's take a look at it again. Now that we've seen the technique, here he tries to go for a kochi gake, could not, and then just go for a single against Al, Al Iquinta. He did a very successful kochi gake. There, there you can see it. He clipped the leg. He didn't just reap it. Uh, on the level of the ankle but he clipped it so it's technically a kochi gake he supplements his wrestling with judo takedown in case he could not get the full one here this one is a very also subtle one and it can get people confused this is an ashiguruma people might mistake it for uh, harai goshi or osotogari but it's an ashiguruma ashiguruma is when the opponent falls on their side you hook the leg and make them fall on their side. Osotogari, you reap the leg and make them fall backwards. In Harai Goshi, uh, you lift with your hips, sweep with the leg and make them fall forward. So this is an Ashiguruma that Khabib uh, went for. Again, there's so much subtleties and intricacies in judo takedowns that one has to be uh, well versed in them. And here I try to show them to you and try to explain as much as I can. Here it's an ukigoshi, floating hips, not an ogoshi like a very big hips where you bend your knees down and just lift your hips up. This is an ukigoshi, Jigoro Kano, the founder of judo's favorite technique where you basically roll someone on your hips and go for a takedown. Here is a brilliant example by Neil Adams. Just uh, put your hips and roll your opponent uh, on your hips and there you can easily go down inside control and finish uh, the fight again in judo context you don't have to bend the knees you just have to roll your opponent uh, on your hips and down for the ippon so i've talked about this technique and the uh, variations of it in jigoro kano's special technique here's another example uh, you just roll someone on their hips and you can use a little bit of a drive in, with your legs in order to get uh, the Ippon. So again, as I've mentioned, there is so much stuff that are obvious in Khabib's Judo, like the Morotegari, the Uranage, which are staples in wrestling, and there are all these subtleties. Here, it's an Ochigari, a major inner reap. Again, a big move in Judo. Here we can see it in the Judo context. Uh, basically translates to major inner reap. You hook the leg and you kind of like a drawn O shape with your leg as you reap away and you kind of 
you use the sleeve and the lapel to push down and forward and again there are drawbacks in this in the MMA context as you can fall in the closed guard of your opponent but luckily in MMA you have ground and pound you can hammer away even if you are in someone's guard so it has its drawbacks and uh, uh, how do you say positives and negatives you can surprise someone with the inner reaps this is what's so good about judo takedowns in MMA um, there is there are many variations to it here you can bring someone to you and then reap away as they are trying to retreat there's you can also grab the leg which is illegal nowadays in judo but uh, it's still pretty much legal in MMA so here you can do like a hopping variation of the Ochigari uh, again these techniques have so much variations to them make them very versatile in whatever situation you are in here you can grab the leg reap it uh, and do an Ochigari with the other so it's very much it's important to see them in judo context and how they translate into MMA with Khabib here let's see it again he has like a body clinch because there's no sleeve and lapel and then goes in with the hips square not squared like a perpendicular and reaps away and turns drawing a big O here's Khabib uh, in Paris Saint Germain club doing the Ochigari uh, so you can see that judo has a big influence uh, in his arsenal of techniques in MMA so I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown uh, there's also the submissions that he does in order to finish off his opponents for example the Hadaka Jime the, or the rear naked choke with its variations like Connor and uh, Poirier and there's also the Kimura he used but you really don't need me on this one because they're very obvious anyone who's just a beginner in BJJ or knows a bit of judo knows these techniques so you really don't need me on this one but when it came to uh, the takedowns there are a lot of subtleties and I felt that they can be talked about and discussed and explained. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. Uh, click the like button if you learned a thing or two. Uh, if you have anything else to add, please, the comment section is wide open. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.